Well, Dan, we've pulled a few comments from a few videos from our YouTube channel and just wanted to run them by you and see what you think because they do have the, you know, a, a point to what they're making here. One comment is, anyone who says there's not a formulaic process in mainstream Hollywood movies and movies in general is kidding themselves. We expect a certain story structure based on a thousand years of Western storytelling. Deviate at your own risk. I would agree with that, except it's not a formula, it's a form. Okay, a formula would dictate what you write. A form is dictating how you structure it, at what point do you reveal things, at what point should the story keep moving forward and keep flowing, rather than stop dead in its tracks or just have a eight-page dialogue scene. So it's not formula, it's form. And I constantly remind my clients about that and my students. It's really important to understand that. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Uh, another comment. No wonder people are dissatisfied with Hollywood. Every movie is similar and so predictable that the industry has committed the biggest sin. It is so predictable that it bores one to tears. <laughs> Story plot lines really are business plans in disguise instead of entertainment. That can be true, and I do see that being true uh, in kind of more and more Hollywood movies, the franchise films. They are very formulaic, and they are employing the same character arcs, or the same themes. Like the theme uh, in animation, a lot of times it's the theme of believe in yourself, you can do anything, you know? And I think it's, uh, it's more interesting when you see an animated film that's a little bit more complex than that. It's a little bit more complicated than that. So I personally do like to see other themes explored and a little bit more uh, intelligent exploration of character and theme. And I do agree that a lot of the franchise films are becoming similar because they're using similar character arcs and similar themes and similar plot devices, you know? Um, a lot of the action movies today I'm just so bored by because it's just battle after battle, even something like like Logan, Logan was very different from a lot of other superhero films, and I think the audience responded because of that. There was more character, there was, it was darker, it was, it was more mature. But once he starts slashing in those action scenes, I honestly get a little bored. I've seen Wolverine slash with his claws in, what, seven, eight movies by now, maybe more. So those long extended action scenes and battle scenes and car chases for me don't interest me as much because I've seen them in so many movies. Now, maybe 12, 14, 15 year olds, it is more interesting and that is a core audience, but a screenwriter shouldn't necessarily be focused on that 14, 15 year old boy audience because they already have a bunch of highly paid writers in Hollywood who will write those particular franchise films. A screenwriter breaks in because they have great characters, great dialogue, and they explore themes in interesting ways. And they come up with a new, unique take on a commercially proven genre. That's what you want to do. You want to blow away the reader. You want to write a really great piece of material so that you get your foot in the door and then they'll hire you to do those assignments. But they don't necessarily want a new writer to write a huge franchise film because, for no other reason because those cost so much. They're not going to entrust a newbie with a $100 million movie. And even if it's a lower budget film, you don't have to write for the lowest common denominator. You should write to the top of your intelligence. And don't you have a book that you've written about uh, writing a superhero script? I have a webinar that oh, I've webinar. written um, called Writing the Superhero Movie. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of superhero films and I like them when they really stand out with some unique character development and interesting themes. Um, I love most of the Marvel movies. They're getting a little bit more formulaic uh, in my opinion, uh, a little bit familiar in the themes and action scenes, you know, now. Um, but I do love the superhero genre, and I'm always hoping that a writer will do something new with it.